Hey guys, what's up? It's Denise Salcedo with Fightful.com. And right now I am at Access Studios with Scott Demore. Scott, first of all, congratulations on the move for Impact Wrestling to Access TV and Anthem Sports with their major purchase that they just announced. Huge news in the wrestling industry. But I want to know for you as Impact Vice President, what did that mean to you, the talent, and everybody? Well, I mean, first of all, thank you. And it is a very exciting time for uh, all of Anthem Sports. Uh, for, for Impact Wrestling specifically, the, the acquisition of Access and this announcement that Impact's moving over there is, is all of us here feel so uh, strongly that we've been putting out one of the best wrestling products out there in the world on a consistent basis, week in and week out. And now with a platform like Access TV to distribute it on, then uh, we now feel we can reach uh, a larger audience with that amazing product. Exactly. And, you know, how important is that for the brand itself, g given that Impact has had many homes? Yeah, I mean, Impact Wrestling over the course of the last handful of years has bounced around quite a bit. So having a steady home where, you know, we now know where our home is, you know, today, tomorrow, and for the foreseeable long-term future. And that type of stability is something that's rarely seen in professional wrestling. The last time that a wrestling organization and a major broadcast network were owned by the same by the same entity was, was the WCW Turner days. And that was certainly part of a golden age of wrestling. So we're very excited for that. And we just think it adds the broadcast component to what is already, in these last few years, we've built such an unbelievably robust digital presence, the, nu the number two wrestling platform in the world, far outreaching uh, anybody behind us, New Japan, Ring of Honor, and all the other great options out there. We're, uh, we're just a huge digital platform. And now having this as our domestic broadcast uh, platform, it just allows us to, to reach out more tentacles to reach and touch fans. You know, I'm so glad that you mentioned the digital aspect of it because it's so important, especially this day and age. And, you know, I'm constantly on the Impact Wrestling YouTube channel and I'm seeing all this stuff that's being put out there. And, you know, even just like going through the comments it's like you see the passion and the dedication from the Impact Wrestling fans. So now, obviously, you have worked both in front and behind the camera. When you came in, you had the daunting task of sort of, you know, uh, you know, creating, renovating this new Impact Wrestling, sort of, you know, trying to, you know, change its reputation. What was the biggest challenge when it came to that? I think the biggest challenge uh, beginning of 2018 when myself and Don Callis came in uh, along with Ed Nordholm was uh, really earning trust back. Over the course of many, many years, uh, previous regimes here have, have lost the trust. They had lost the trust of wrestling fans. So going out there because we knew we could go out there and put on a great show. And uh, the initial reaction was going to be, okay, that's good, but they're going to they're gonna do something, you know, like to, to upset us or to offend us next week. So to us, the key thing was slowly but surely delivering on a consistent basis. So over the course of a long period of time, we knew it wasn't going to be a short period of time. It was going to take a long track record of, show, of, of showing that we delivered deliver week after week, day after day, month after month. So I think the trust that we've seen uh, and we've been able to earn back from, from wrestling fans is, uh, is something that we take very seriously. And I think it's, it's one of our great accomplishments. And as you know, we just announced, you know, Bound for Glory uh, officially sold out. That's something that never even could have been conceivable two years ago. So to have something like that now on the eve of this, of this major premiere on Access is, uh, is proof that what we're doing is working and that fans are starting to say, you know what, I can invest with them. Because one of the biggest things is when you have a real fan and they're invested emotionally and financially in your product, they take ownership of it and we now have fans not just viewers but fans that care passionately about what we're doing and that that's been one of the biggest challenges and I think that's been one of our great successes that's incredible and I'm so happy that you mentioned the sellout you know for bound for glory you know you just said right now how important that is but knowing that you came in and you made this change you were part of the change what does that mean to you and your career and you know just sort of being able to say like yeah we sold out I just think it's a it's a great statement, right? And I mean, it was, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it was it was such a uh, daunting task, you know, 
uh, Impact Wrestling hadn't sold tickets to wrestling shows in so long. So last year, when it was like, you know what, we need to get out of Universal Studios. Universal Studios is a world-class uh, facility. Uh, it's it's great to be there. It's been a, a great partnership over the years. But we were getting park goers that just wanted to get out of the heat or be part of it. We weren't getting wrestling fans. So saying that we're going to go back out there and we're going to go to to arenas and venues around the country uh, and really around the continent with Mexico and Canada as well, going out there and having fans buy a ticket. There's something, like I remember as a kid, like I would get my ticket, I'd have to go down to the box office, get it, and then I would look at it for weeks, waiting for it to come, right? And uh, the experience is a little different now, but there's still something, when you've invested your money and you've paid to be part of something, and I mean, it, it builds an excitement and it uh, there's an inherent value there. There's a connection now. They're invested in the, the product. They're not just tuning it in because there's nothing else to watch. They're invested in the product. And um, I think that selling out beef bfg and uh all the things we've had happen are just uh just some of the great reasons why uh, people need to watch what impact wrestling is doing as we head into 2020 do you still have those ticket stubs i do have some and i have a lock of adrian adonis's hair from wrestlemania 3 too oh i do I, I should i should put that on ebay yeah, exactly <laughs> right oh my god that is so cool no, it's funny because i save all my tickets as well and you know one of my all-time favorite wrestling events that i attended was bound for glory when it was here in irvine a few years so years ago actually so it's an interesting that you create that really you know it really is true that you create that relationship with the fan so now okay let's jump into the fact that speaking of impact one of the things that they have been doing is that they've been building a lot of really great stars we've been seeing a lot of talent uh we've been seeing really great storylines a lot of uniqueness to the product but now with this move to access is there going to be any new additions are we going to be seeing any new stars anything new anything different well, I think the, the important thing to remember is that in wrestling, it has to always be evolving because complacency is the, uh, is the enemy of success. And uh, we've done a great job of coming in here. Look, look, there was some great talent here, but it needed to be freshened up. We needed to freshen up feel, look, and we really came in, myself and Don, with an idea that we wanted to foster and build a roster from the ground up. And we think we have a great roster right now of sprinkling in a few veterans with a lot of real young, talented stars. And that's what impacts wrestling when it's done things right over the years has done extremely well whether it's the aj aj styles or bobby roots it's, it's taking talents that other people overlooked and then nurturing them and fostering them to greatness and you look at the things we've done with so many of the characters now like a perfect example is is ace austin here is a guy who not even a year ago was a guy oh he's, he's a he's a good x division style you know cruiserweight style wrestler but there really was no dimensions to him we've been adding layers and dimensions to him and trying to make it so he's not just a great wrestler he's a great character which again will lead to uh, increased emotional attachment to the character and to the performer. Well said. That's perfectly well said. I'm glad that you also mentioned AJ Styles because obviously for a long time, you know, he was the face of the company. So now, okay, you know, going, speaking of that, there is so much competition right now in the world of wrestling. How does Impact sort of fall in line with that? I mean, I think Impact Wrestling, uh, what we've really done with it is we have uh, set it on its own course. We don't ignore what else is going on in the wrestling world, and it certainly is a great time for professional, for professional wrestling overall. But I think that people can get caught up worrying too much about other people. And uh, what we've done is really try to focus on making sure that our own house is in order. And uh, we've gone out there, we've seen a consistent increase in attendance. We've seen, uh, we've seen the development of uh, lots of new stars. And now with the premiere on Access Television coming up, we're gonna get to present those stars on a bigger platform and continue that growth. So I think that really the key to us is taking advantage of a time when fans are super excited about professional wrestling in general and then getting out there and showing them why that one of the companies or the company that they need to invest in is impact wrestling well said now obviously with the move to access you guys are now under the same umbrella as wow and new japan pro wrestling will be will we be seeing any sort of crossovers certainly something that could be looked at we've been wide open if you look at our track record since uh since the beginning of 2018 we've always said stronger together so multiple companies coming together for the common good not just of the companies but most importantly for the wrestling fans is a situation where everybody wins Perfect. And my last question to you is, why should fans tune in every Tuesday starting October 29th on Access to Watch Impact? 
Uh, every Tuesday night on Access, you get to see a dynamic product that features storytelling at a level that I think very few wrestling companies are able to do. And I think you see a young, hungry roster that is really uh, fighting to show the whole world how unbelievably talented they are. And it reminds me very similar to of our launch years ago on Spike, where you get to be getting on the ground floor of something that's truly going to be amazing. Awesome. Well, well said. Thank you so much, Scott, for talking to me today. Guys, please do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to check out Impact on Access every Tuesday starting October 29th.